Hey Libra, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ana Eileen. We're going to tap into some love messages for you guys today. That's what came out for you in the shuffle, so that's where we at with it, okay? Also have the planets to the right of me, just so I can reference it if need be. It's always helpful. All right. Um, I know, Libra, when I was coming into your energy, it was like, it was weird because um, I was having visions. I don't necessarily feel like the visions were the thing to focus on. It was the fact that visions were coming through. And I heard that those people's third eye is open. Okay? Referring to you, the Libra Collective, whoever this reading is for. So, um, a lot of you could be maybe experiencing that. Some of your gifts are coming online. I feel like your third eye or your crown in particular might be very important, especially in your love life. Okay? So, being able to see shit, you know? And pick up on things that might not be privy to these two eyes. All right. So let's see what comes out. I'm going to try to get two messages for you guys. All right. So we have empathy. I am open to seeing both sides of a situation. Okay. Another message that was coming through for you all um, before your reading is a lot of you are awakening to your own worth. Okay. So what I got was a lot of people that you deal with or have dealt with, even that are platonic, they, they are tapped into your worth. They can see your worth before you do. It's like, they see who you are or your potential or what you could be or are going to be way before you see it. Okay. And it's like, people capitalize on that as well. Okay, grief is out here too, and this is not even supposed to be in this deck that I'm shuffling, so that's interesting. We're gonna keep that out here. When I see the grief card, I hear RIP to the old me. All right, okay, we have Nematona with safe space and Mother Mary with emotional healing. Okay, I'm already picking up on some Libras who have enforced some boundaries with the feminine energy. It could be a mother, okay? Um, a lot of you have been in like this retreat energy is what I'm seeing, retreating within. That is where you feel safe. And because you are empathic, you do have to have that anchor within, okay? So yeah, I'm hearing so shit bounces off of you and you're not absorbing everything. All right, yes, you have the Heroth card out here. This came out twice today, and I don't see it that often. It came out in Aquarius's reading as well, your fellow air sign. Um, it's connecting with this Nematon, the safe space card. Okay, um, so Libra, I do feel like you're one of the ones out here. You're truly, I won't say looking, but your soul, okay, your higher self. I feel like it's definitely um, wanting a deeper, like a soul connection, something that feels, it feels old and ancient. And, you know, those vibes were coming through in Aquarius is reading too. You have also the illuminator here. Okay. Yeah. I feel like it's been made. I don't know if this was through Pisces season because we're about to go into Aries season in like a day or two. Um, it could have been made aware to you, like to yourself, just how much you were playing yourself down okay so that means that for a lot of you it was like this unconscious thing it was just a way of life okay and some of you it could have stemmed from a mother as i say that i'm literally flipping the chariot card upright in the deck that is cancerian energy fourth house the mother the moon okay spirit what is this love message the Hierophant, the Ace of Cups. Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay, the Page of Wands in reverse, Two of Wands, and the Ten of Wands. I feel like this is actually a breakup because the Page of Wands came out in reverse. I feel like you still hold a lot of love for somebody in your heart, but Page of Wands in reverse is like you still you had to cut them off okay so some of you have blocked this person you've not communicated with them and that's what i get with this empathy and safe space and he right card it's like you have to maybe protect yourself go into your shell okay maybe that was something different for you okay as they bring me back to the grief card like this isn't something that maybe you would have done because i'm hearing the word sulk so before it's like maybe you would have let your emotions kind of overtake you yeah two of wands six of cups you would have let it maybe like get in the way of you moving forward and you know just moving on with your life and continuing to build for yourself thank you four of 
pentacles in reverse. Yeah, clarifying empathy. You're releasing a lot. Okay, I feel like for me, four of pentacles, when that comes out, a lot of times it can signify like um, scarcity mindset, holding on to things too tightly. Yeah, the knight of cups here and the seven of wands. I feel like you've released something, whether that was fighting for somebody or, you know, because that's what this feels like. Seven of Wands, Knight of Cups, and this might have been somebody who who wasn't really committing with the Knight of Cups. Yeah. Clarify him. Space here. King of Cups, okay. The Six of Pentacles, the High Priestess, and the Ace of Pentacles. I'm hearing coming out when you know it's safe. What is that about King of Cups here for Libra? Oh, okay. The King of Swords, Ace of Wands, and the Six of Cups. Maybe there are, are people from your past or people still in your life that want your energy. You could be like low-key hiding out. All right. Um, I'm picking up on the air energy. Could be another Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, Six of Cups. And the Fool could be an Aries. Maybe people from your past, yeah. Because you it does feel like you've been in hermit. Oh, yes. And the page of wands is in reverse, too. I don't feel like you've been talking to a lot of people by that. Ace of Pentacles, unless it's about money, okay? Mm-hmm. Queen of Pentacles, Five of Swords. But also, again, you've been realizing... On it, I'm just going to say, like, you feel like some people have been using you, you know, like only contacting you when they need something. Okay, and I'm hearing in disguise or under the guise of, you know, so it's like they could be calling you like, hey, Libra, how you doing? I haven't talked to you. And then y'all get deeper into the conversation. They're like, you know, I do need that money for my life bill or something like that. I don't know. But just an example. Okay, yeah, look, nine of swords clarifying the page of wands in reverse in the world. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, and the two of pentacles. So a message that I'm getting in love that I feel like you guys have been getting for a long time in the five of cups here is um, you are taking a stand for yourself and not letting people tip your Libra scales. Okay, your scales of balance and put you in a place of imbalance and out of alignment with your own blessings and manifestations. Okay, all because these are like energy vampires and leeches and they need your energy. Because it is very uh, wise. Okay. Yeah. The Queen of Swords here. The Page of Cups. For some of you, this could have started with a mother energy who was too um, over, like, this is like oversharing with you, you know, inappropriately or, you know. Okay. So it could have started there where you felt like your boundaries were violated or you couldn't say no, you know. I don't want to hear that or I don't want to, you know, so. That's what, yep, and I cut the deck, and justice is there. That's Libra paired with that page of cups there, okay, like the little Libra. And the empress behind that, the five of pentacles, right? So whether I'm speaking to a feminine or masculine Libra right now, I'm still, I'm picking up on heavy, like, whether you're masculine or feminine, there needs to be, uh, big boundaries around overbearing feminine energy okay i don't know but it's very specific overbearing feminine energy who don't respect your boundaries and it's like a theme i'm seeing yep cut the deck in the four of swords that's confirmation that's libra okay so let's see if there's any um let's let's tap into new love see if there's anything new coming in Okay, we're going to keep our oracles out here, our big guiding cards as well. Yeah, a lot of people around you are experiencing you differently. And the spirit is connecting your love life very heavily to like family or childhood or the mother. 
okay this feminine energy is just all here like it's three females out here and one masculine energy which would be the sun right but other than that we have mother mary okay with emotional healing we have nematona another feminine energy with safe space we have he right and on here there's a, a, a female and then we have the illuminator which is like the sun that's the masculine energy Okay, some of you could have grew up with a lot of feminine energy, maybe a lot of sisters, or just period. What's new for Libra? What do they need to know about what's new in their love life coming in, spirit? Thank you. Okay, the page of wands came out upright. <laughs> maybe somebody you do want to talk to. The King of Swords and the Seven of Swords, or maybe not, okay? Seven of Wands and the Two of Swords. All right, so I feel like there could be an air energy coming in. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, that is going to either make you feel conflicted. It's going to put you in a position where you have to decide, I feel like, whether somebody is telling the truth or not, okay, with the Seven of Swords. And I hear you right now, Libra. You're like, see, this is why I had everybody blocked. <laughs> okay, but let's see, let's see. What's this? Uh, swords. You're like, and this is exactly why. Okay, four of pentacles. We'll take that. That came out very clearly. The star. Okay, it could be an Aquarius energy. The two of wands. This could be somebody, one of those people who are in your energy trying to hold on. That's what I'm picking up on. Okay, queen of pentacles here. Eight of wands. The magician, I would say, especially if you've been manifesting new beginnings for yourself, you're feeling like things are starting to pick up, all right? You're coming out of, like, mental stagnation. You find yourself not ruminating over, like, um, you know, low-vibing thoughts or self-defeating thoughts like that. Who's this king of swords spirit? <laughs> the two of wands. Page of Cups, Queen of Cups. Yeah, this is somebody who wants to move forward with you. Three of Wands, been waiting for you. Five of Wands, okay. The Sun and the Six of Swords. Yeah, they've been looking for you. It could be a Leo energy too. So this is one of those people who's like holding on in your energy. Okay, Page of Wands, please. What do they want to speak about? The Ace of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands judgment and the three of cups please don't tell me this person wants money the ace of pentacles page of cups and the nine of cups ten of pentacles and the six of swords here this feels really self-serving i'm not even gonna lie what do they want with libra That is the Magician, okay, Six of Cups, Knight of Swords, yeah. See, the, the thing about these people who are holding on to your energy is that they're holding on to a past version of you. Remember the grief card was out here, RIP to the old Libra, RIP to the girl, to the, to the guy who used to see, like, <clears throat> I think these people are wanting an old version of you back, yeah, Five of Pentacles. A version of you that did not know yourself. The Tower, Seven of Cups, you know, easily, you know, and I don't mean any offense by that, you know, easily maybe like taken advantage of by these type of energies. Nine of Swords and the Ace of Swords, yes. So I feel like that's what's coming up, Libra. Yep, Knight of Cups, Seven of Cups, this is something there. And this confusion energy, but it's less about them and more about, you know, do you see it? You know, get third eye. <laughs> Remember that that was what had came through. 1414, while well, I'm saying that, that's what had come through. And the thing for you guys is like, okay, it's time to test out this third eye or something. Can you see it? Did you see it? <laughs> it reminds me of like those um ghost videos or paranormal videos, and they show it the video or clip or whatever and then the, the narrator's like did you see it you know like did you miss it and you know sometimes i'm like damn i didn't see anything you know that's what this feels like yeah see three of cups three of swords as i'm saying that 
Okay, so somebody could be also playing under the guise of a friend. 333 is out here because you also have the three of wands. Because I was just about to say, I always get 333 for Libra. Okay, anything else? Empress in reverse as I say that. Okay. So if anything, your third eye is clearing up because in love, you need to be really aware Okay, like the veil's really lifting in your love life. You really need to see what people are there for. Okay, and whether the people that are taking are able to fill you back up the way you need to be filled up. For real, Libra. Because you deserve that. I know a lot of Libras who deserve that. I'm hearing Beyonce's soldier. <laughs> uh, Destiny's child. That wasn't just Beyonce. I'm sorry. Okay, so we also have the last quarter moon in Sagittarius as your last card, and it says practice gratitude. I feel like that's for the people around you as well. Okay, and I feel like whatever actions or lack thereof you're taking with these people is kind of, you know, activating that gratitude within them. So that's what I have for you, Libra. All right, I pray these messages find you well, that they are helpful in some way, shape, or form. If you want to book a personal reading, check below. Um, please read it in full. If you if you need to email me or before you book or before you want to pay, please feel free to do that, okay? Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends. All right, I'll catch you later, Libra. Bye.